Okay, so <laughs> this is uh, uh, something I've been really wanting to talk about for a long time because I think it's really important and I don't really understand why it's not talked about more, but erasing asexuality and, and aromanticism, uh, it really is destroying society. It really is. The problems that we have, a lot of them, especially in the United States right now, are all rooted in sex. In some people uh, wanting to control how other people are allowed to or if they can have sex. And I think that a really big reason why we have this constant tension when it comes to issues related to sex is there are people who are asexual in society who don't know that they are asexual and don't understand that their experience, their desire or lack of desire for sex isn't universal. And then there are other people in the world who are very hypersexual and uh, you know, are attracted to either one or many genders very intensely and feel the need to act on that desire. And, and it's a need, not just a want, a need. And so you have these two people and then everyone in the middle <laughs> and they're all trying to work together in a society as if their experiences are all universal. And so you have these people who think, why can't these degenerates just keep it in their pants? Because for them, not having sex is like no big deal. And then you have people who are like, I, you know, this is a big part of my identity. My, my sexual identity is important to me. And, and then you have this clash. And, and I don't just mean, you know, people whose sexuality is important to them. I'm not talking about, like, being gay or straight. I'm talking about, you know, a guy likes, who likes to go to Hooters a lot. His sexuality is very important to him, you know. It may be a heterosexual identity, but it doesn't mean that his sexuality is less important to him just because it's traditional, you know. And so it just, it boggles my mind how we have people, leaders in society who are, are trying to, you know, legislate their morality on other people and just do not have any fundamental understanding that what they're asking other people to do is not possible for all other people, you know, <laughs> Being a romantic myself, I don't really have much personal experience with this, but I've seen it a lot. People cheat on their partners an awful lot. You know, their sexuality motivates them an awful lot. And yet, we have no way to have a discussion in this society because asexuality is just completely erased in the mainstream about why it is that for some people they can't understand the importance of other people's sexuality because they're on the aromantic spectrum and some people can't understand why it is that some people are able to live without sex because they are very allosexual so you have you have you know, people who can't understand that another person isn't motivated by sex. And we have other people that are that can't understand why anyone would be motivated by sex. And they just keep bumping up against each other and they can't talk about it. And this tension, this tension is causing all of the issues that we have 
a lot of the issues, at least related to reproductive rights. Uh, a lot of the issues that we have as far as, you know, these tensions between different, like, religious groups, you know, because the fact of the matter is the leader of one church may be asexual and think that everyone should be celibate or is possible for everyone to be celibate and be, you know, live happy, healthy lives. And that's just not the case. There are some people who, if they are not having a sexual relationship or the right amount of sexual stimulation, they're never going to be able to have a healthy life because that's important. I, I don't understand it, but I don't have to understand it. I just have to know that it exists and respect that other people live their lives that way because their perception of the world is different than mine. And if we could just talk about that, if society could just understand that it's sex, <laughs> the sex, sexual attraction <laughs> is optional. Not everybody has it. And then everybody could be on the same page because we could acknowledge the fact that some people who are very, very anti-sex are that because of a real reason. You know, it's not just them being, uh, wanting to control people's lives. It's they literally don't understand why anyone needs sex. You know, like we need to be able to have this conversation and I, I'm going to have to leave it here because I think I'm just going around in circles at this point, but it just, it just bothers me, you know, that we can't, we can't talk about why it is that we have this tension, let alone even start addressing it because asexuality is just erased, you know? Even when people talk about the queer community, a lot of times it's LGBT. And they just stop. They just ignore the questioning people, the queer platonic people, uh, you know, the, the intersex people, the aromantic and asexual, and all of us, the QIA and then the plus sign, all of us are still part of that community. But we're not even mentioned let alone, you know, taking the time to understand us. And the fact of the matter is society ignoring us, it hurts everyone. And so, you know, that's what I wanted to, to lecture you guys about. <laughs> More of a ramble, I think, than, than a lecture this time. But <sighs> I hope you have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves. Auntie out. <laughs>